So how do you install Python and start coding and running script in, in Python? So step number one, you'll have to download the latest version of Python 3. So let's head over to python.org. So once you're on python.org, uh, let me zoom this here a little bit, go ahead and click on downloads. So if you notice here, uh, it automatically detected that I'm on a Windows uh, operating system. So it is defaulting to um, the Windows version for me. So it'll be the case also if you are if you have Mac or any other operating system. So just go ahead and download um, that version, uh, 3.10. So just like any other software installation, uh, click on open file. So uh, from here, uh, just hit installation, uh, customize installation features, just to see, you know, what the options are and to see what you're installing. Um, typically you want to leave the default uh, features there, um, but you have the documentation, you have idle, etc., which we'll talk about a little bit. So just go ahead and leave everything checked and um, we can hit next, but let's go back here. So hit um, check the add Python 3.10 to path. So what that does is just allow you to run Python from the command prompt, which is pretty useful. So once you check that, hit install, it's probably going to prompt you to say if you want to uh, allow the computer to make changes. So hit yes. So it's installing. So let's just wait a few seconds here or minutes. So installation is complete. Uh, setup was successful. We can close this window. Uh, we can still verify to see if installation, if you know it was properly installed. You can type in here Python, uh, search that in your programs or applications. You see all the features that are installed. You can also use the command prompt as well. Uh, just type in Python and you have that in there. So like I was saying, you can run it uh, because we checked the path or um, add path, uh, add 310 to path, you can run it from here. So if you say, for example, print, um, I'm learning Python. Yeah, so that's gonna print. If you uh, set a variable x8, uh, print x, I expect to see eight. So you can do it from here. So the installation also give you the option to uh, install idle, which is the uh, default uh, editor for, for Python. So let's check that out. Search that here, idle. So this is idle. Um, like I was saying, it allows you to just, um, you know, right line, you know, a line of code. So, uh, for example, you can just put, um, my name is, um, Raya Academy. So it's just going to print that again. Um, if you just, uh, have a variable X equal, uh, for example, one, uh, print X, then it's just going to print one. So uh, it's it's pretty basic. Um, so from here you you're ready to, to you know to just run some simple simple very very basic uh, lines of code. But if you run a, if you want to run a whole script, you know for a specific purpose, not just a line of code, uh, you'll need a code editor to edit and run your code. So that's called uh, an IDE. So let's talk about that in step two. So step two, uh, you'll need to install an IDE, which is Integrated Development Environment. That probably doesn't tell you anything really, but all it does, it just allows you to edit and uh, run your code. So there's a lot of other choices. Um, so these are examples of uh, different IDEs. Like I was saying, I showed you early, earlier with Idle. It comes with Python, but it's pretty basic. Uh, you also have Notepad++, but that's that's just a text editor. You can't really run anything with that. Um, you also have heard probably of PyCharm, which is another option that a lot of people like to use. 
uh, there's also a spider um, but personally I like to use uh, Jupyter Notebook so it's not just a simple editor or IDE but it has a vast array of, of problem solving so it has um, multiple I mean it has support for uh, multiple programming languages and, and Python is one of them so it's very very flexible uh, what you can do with it so which we'll get into it a little bit later but whatever um, ID you use you know the concept are are the same so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day uh, just depends on um, you know what you're going to use it for for the most part so one of the ways to install Jupyter Notebook is through Anaconda which is an open source uh, that contains uh, Jupyter you know Spider, PyCharm etc so let's head to uh, anaconda.com to install Jupyter. So this is anaconda.com. Uh, let me zoom here a little bit again. So click on products, uh, individual edition, open source distribution. So this is the free version. So click on download for Windows because I have Windows. So open file, uh, click next, um, just glance through this, uh, agreed. Uh, so just me for now. Uh, you can just leave here the default path for, um, you know, the installation uh, features and whatnot. So I'll just leave it here. But if you want to change it, feel free to just browse and um, choose your own destination for the folder. So click next. Um, so make sure you uh, just you know leave it as default as well, so that it'll it's gonna use Python directly as well. So hit install, and let's just wait for the installation. So installation is now complete. That took a few minutes though, um, but click next. Uh, next and finish and that's about it so once that's done we can uh, always verify that it's you know properly installed uh, let's click on anaconda so once that opens uh, you see here uh, you have Jupyter notebook you also have you know PyCharm you also have spider um, but I, I prefer uh, to use uh, Jupyter Notebook, so let's go ahead and launch that. And here we are. So you can click on New to open a new file, new Python 3 file. And you're ready to uh, just run code, which will do a lot of that. That's it. So now you're ready to code with me. So stay tuned for more tutorials. Thank you.